hi all welcome back to the channel so today we are going to start with a new playlist on playwright with typescript so in this video i am going to explain you uh, playwright introduction then we will be doing setup of playwright project with typescript and then we will run the first test and then we will generate a html report yes all these four things would be done in one video and uh, it would not take much time okay so uh, earlier I already created video on uh, I mean a complete playlist on playwright with Python so if you have not watched that videos uh, or if you have not explored that um, playlist uh, please check it out I will put uh, the link in the description and uh, so basically uh, let's start with the introduction part yeah so what is playwright so basically playwright is an automation tool and it can be used for web UI automation mobile web automation API automation and visual automation testing right so uh, next uh, so uh, it has a very good language support and uh, like uh, we can run uh, we can write our test in Java JavaScript TypeScript Python C sub.net okay so all these languages uh, it can support and uh, also if you are uh, familiar with any of this language then you can write your script so this playlist is for particularly for TypeScript so uh, if you if you are uh, if you know Python then you can check my uh, another playlist on uh, on that also it, it has a capability of uh, it has a cross browser capability and cross platform support okay so cross browser means uh, it can uh, it can run on different browsers so we can test our uh, code in different browser okay so if you write a automation script for any anything or any particular feature then you can test that feature in different browsers so like chromium chrome firefox webkit all these browsers it can support and the cross platform means it, it is i mean the different ways like uh, windows linux and uh, uh, mac way so all these uh, platform it support it supports right so next uh, like we can configure a uh, playwright project in no time so that's a very good thing like you would not be able to I mean it would not take much time to configure right the next thing is the first execution so it is very very fast uh, you will see like uh, it is super fast it will not take much time to execute your code uh, even even you need to give some uh, slow motion so that you can see what is happening right so next next point is like auto aid capability so um, it has a very good uh, feature of auto aid that means uh, if you have any element that you are trying to interact with so you do not have to uh, give some explicit weight of like uh, okay wait till this element is visible or something like that so uh, playwright will handle it automatically so they has they have given auto auto weight capability inbuilt so we do not have to worry about that and the next part, next thing is uh, trace viewer for debugging right so um, like um, this is another very good uh, feature from playwright that is uh, if you have any problem in your script then you can easily debug through this trace viewer and there are many other uh, very good uh, features available that is uh, they, they have already mentioned it in their uh, documentation so i am not uh, going to write or explain you all these things so we will see this that one by one will be progressing in this playlist and uh, so you can go come to this documentation and you can see like um, they have given uh, these features like cross browser cross platform cross language and this auto weight capability and other things whatever the main highlights of this tool so they have given in in their home page okay so you can read it and understand what it means and don't worry i'm going to explain everything and uh, so next um, we are going to set up our playwright project uh, with typescript so let's do that so let's jump to this point how to set up playwright project with typescript and uh, so before uh, you start your um, setup just make sure you have these two software installed so what is the what is those softwares so that is one is uh, node.js so make sure you have node.js installed in your machine and the next thing is Visual Studio Code this two software you will need it so the setup process is very simple you just have to search first in the Google node.js and come to this website and just download the LTS version and install it it's straightforward and similar way you can install the Visual Studio Code it is also very simple you can click on this and you can it will be downloaded and then just next 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 and complete the installation okay once this is done then what you have to do 
just create a folder in any particular drive or directory and uh, open your command prompt in that so I'm going to open my command prompt here CMD so I have opened my command prompt and from here I'm trying to open code space dot that means I'm trying to open uh, Visual Studio code okay so Visual Studio code will be open in this particular directory you can see okay it's saying uh, example dot okay delete it no problem CLS yeah then so you will not be seeing this uh, pop-up don't worry uh, for for you it would be like this only okay this plain uh, blank folder would be there okay so next uh, what we have to do so basically we just have to take this particular command npm init playwright at the latest and one more thing sorry before that I just want to let you know here uh, so make sure you have node.js installed uh, how do you check that right so for checking that you can just simply use node v minus v so you can see it is giving uh, this 16.13.0 right that means my I have node.js installed so I do not have to do any anything else that's it okay next um, I'm just going to run this code from the terminal so now I am going to open the terminal here new terminal okay I think two terminal is open that's fine you can run it from here or you can run it from here as well anything would be fine I'm, I'm, I'm running now from this uh, Visual Studio code uh, terminal right so I've just created this um, command npm uh, npm init playwright at the rate latest and this has been given by playwrights I mean I have taken this thing from playwrights documentation okay so I'm just running it so what it will do it would just create few folders and first it will ask you few things like you can see you can see like uh, it is asking me like uh, do you want to use TypeScript or JavaScript so from from my case like I want TypeScript right so what I can do see by default uh, TypeScript is selected so if you want JavaScript you just have to press the down arrow or the up arrow so right now I'm just press the up arrow and selecting TypeScript and I'm play hitting the enter so it's saying where to put your end-to-end -end tests that is I want it in tests folder so let's let's be that next add a github actions uh, github actions workflow that is uh, false by default but I want it true yeah it's true install playwright browsers can be done manually via npx playwright installed so let it be true because I want uh, I mean it should be installed right so so that we do not have to do it separately now it's you can see it's uh, creating few things first it, it has created the package or JSON and it's see what is it is doing see all these folders are automatically created and it's saying happy hacking so one thing uh, you have noticed like it's uh, it also installed the browsers right so it didn't take much time right because I already have installed the browser so it uh, didn't do it again so it, it's already there right now now you can see you can just read thing this thing so it's saying like uh, installing playwright test and you install this this is success okay so notice that uh, it is also giving us like how we can execute our test so it's a very good thing you do not have to go to the documentation again and again you just you can see like how, how to run the test right npx playwright test uh, so if you want to run on the desktop chrome then what you have to do so all these things are already given in this particular uh, terminal only you can see it so that's great and uh, also you can see they are saying like check out the following files so test as example example into in test so if you go to this test folder you can see one uh, they have given one example tests examples dot spec dot ts this is how you have to write your test so whenever you will be writing your test then make sure you are writing this in this simple same format that is example dot spec dot ts example is the name that is you can change this example but make sure dot spec dot ts would be there okay so next let's say you are want to create another file that is login dot spec dot ts something like that you can give the name and in the tests example there is a demo to do app section so this is another test example 
okay so for now it's uh, let it be uh, like that so this is a demo test that is you can run and uh, next uh, you can see this package.json so here you can see, see like it has a dependencies and in the dependencies part section there is a uh, version so we have the latest version currently 1.29.1 uh, so this is the latest version and uh, yeah that's it and uh, the github things is also, also there okay so we have completed the setup so that's so you can see like how quickly we have set up our uh, playwright project now let's run it so we know like how to run right so npx playwright test and um, just one more thing like if we have hit this command it will run in headless mode by default and all that it will run in all the three browsers parallelly so let's see that what happens you can see three tests passed and uh, it is also saying to open the last HTML report uh, you have to hit this command npx playwright show report so let's do that and as it, it has uh, it has run in the headless mode so that is why we didn't see the browser browsers um, so let me open the report so you can see uh, it is uh, giving us very good report uh, there is I think it's very plain report but uh, I mean it has all the information that we need so you can see it has given like how many tests there are so three tests so there are three passed zero failed zero flaky and zero skipped and also it is giving us the uh, test which is run I mean the name of the file that is example.spec.ts and it has taken 11 seconds only and also it is giving like uh, which browsers it has been executed right so if I click on this uh, like these are the this is the test home page has title and links into the intro page so you can see I go to the detail page and here you can see all the test steps are there so before you page dot go to and it is also giving these things so it's very good right I mean we can also if it is failing then also we can check where it is exactly failing so from the report only you can able to see where it is failing so this complete details they are providing so that's amazing right and the vipo rook so context.new page okay so don't worry uh, you do not have to understand now because we just have uh, run a sample test not actually have written any code right so uh, this is the playwright report that automatically generating and we do not have to do anything right automatically it, get, it gets generated and uh, next uh, thing uh, okay so let's let's run it in a let it saying press ctrl c to quit so i'm writing ctrl c and y okay so let me run it with uh, with the browsers opening right so for that you have to give one flag called headed for running in non headless mode so let me hit uh, the enter button okay so you can see the it was very quick so don't worry we will see how to run in a slow motion mode but I think uh, this for this particular video that's we wanted to see like how to set up the project how to um, run uh, our first test uh, that is auto 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 generated not auto generated but uh, playwright has team has given we didn't write any script and how to uh, generate the HTML report so all these things we have run we have we have seen so there are many other things we can do like how to uh, run in, um, in single browser or how to run a particular file or how to add slow motion so that we will we'll be seeing in different videos okay in next video or maybe in another video so for this video that's it and um, so if you have any questions do let me know and uh, thank you for watching please like share and subscribe bye